Good day everyone, my name is Graphics. Now we want to study an aspect of technical drawing which is called the construction of line. There's some aspects whereby you use your set square and your T square, let's say the 45 degree set square, 30 degree set square and 60 degree set square as your point of reference. But now you might be told draw the following angles without the use of what? Your set square basically construction so we know we have some special angles one of those angles that we have are angle 30 right angle 60 angle 90 and angle what 45 all other angles are gotten from these angles so let's see how we construct let's start with 60 first of all so if we want to draw an angle 60 degree what you do, let's assume that uh, we have a baseline with your T square, you draw a baseline like this. A baseline like this. And you call this point point A and what? Point B. Right? And you want to construct it. So, what you do is this at any given radius, any given radius, maybe let me say like 10 millimeter, you place it at this point. Right? And you draw. A semicircle this way. Let it cut here. Can you see? So where it cuts the line AB, you let me call it my what? My point C. Are we good? So without adjusting this with the same radius you used to draw the arc, you place it at point C and you strike an arc. So where it cuts that arc, that should be where your angle. 60 degree lies. So if I place it this way, I'll be having my angle what? Angle 60 degree, which is this. That's our angle what? 60 degree. So the angle between here and here is called what? Angle 60 degree. Are we good? Similarly, if we want to construct angle 30 degree with the same procedure, with the same procedure, I'm going to take the basics. Let's say this is my line. Let me take in it. Line AB is my base. Right? So this is A and this is B. And what my, my interest is to draw 30 degree. So what I will do is with the same procedure, you know if you divide 30, 60 you have 30. So I will go as if I want to construct angle 60. I will draw an arc that will cut my AB. I'll call that point, point C, right? And with the same radius, I'll place it at C. I'm going to cut that point. So, where it, so I'm going to make it pass through this point. Can you see? Well, now I'm going to use the faint line. You can see? I'm using the faint line here. So from that faint line, I'm going to bisect this line. So bisecting means cutting it into two. So if it's, this is 60, I'll take my red, any given radius here, I'll place at this point here, at point C, I'll strike an arc, right? So in doing that, I'm going to place it at um, point, at this point also, and I'll strike the other arc to here. Can you see that? So in doing that, where it cuts that will be my angle 30 so i'm not taking it because that is what i'm actually looking for so the angle between here and here is 30 degree so you can continue like that if i want to construct 15 i will construct as if i'm constructing 30 i'll get my 60 get 30 then bisect 30 to get 15. So what I'm trying to say is I want to construct 15 now. I'm going to bisect this 30 like this. Come here this point too. Bisect here too. So any line I draw like this will be my what? My 30 degree. My 15 degree. So the angle between here and here is called my angle 15 degree. Are we good? So if I'm to draw this, you know that this and this will be faint, 
right? Now let's move further. We have angle 45 degree. How can we draw angle 45 degree? Let's see how we go about that. Now if I want to draw angle 45 degree, I need to know what to, how to draw angle 90 degree because when I divide 90, I'm going to get 45. So let me draw my 90 degree. I'm going to draw my baseline, which will be, let me see, from here to here, right? So if I draw that baseline, this is A, B. And what will I do? I am going to extend the line. Extend the line A, B with faint line. Can you see? I extended it with a faint line. So what I will do again, I will now take my compass with a reasonable radius. I'm going to place it at that point A. And I'm going to draw a semi-circle cutting this way. Right? So let me call this point my A1 and my A2. Right? So with a reasonable radius, I can adjust it a little bit. Maybe any radius of the choice. I'll place that A. And I'll strike an arc up here. Right, I'll place that A2. Then I'll take it to A1. I'll do the same thing also. I'll strike an arc here. So in doing that, I'm going to take my line and extend it to pass through that point. So that will give me my 90. All good. So that will be my 90. Is that again? So the angle between here and here is 90. Now similarly, because if you look at it very well, now similarly, if I want to draw 45, you know my 90 will be faint. Let me assume I want to draw my 45 degree. Now observe and see. If I want to draw my 45 degree, maybe at this point, mm, let me see here, 45 degree, I will draw my baseline and I will extend the end of it a little bit. So this point here is my A, here is my B, right? I'm going to take my compass and I'm going to um, draw a semicircle like this. Can you see that? So with my compass, I'll, to any visible radius, I'll place it at, let's say this point is A2 and here is what? A1, right? So my compass at any reasonable radius, if I like I adjust it or I leave it the way it is, I'll place it here, I'll strike an arc, and I'll place that is at A2, I'll strike an arc, then at A1 also, I'll strike another arc. So where they meet, I'll take my rule and join those two points where they meet here. I'll, let me say point B, point C, and I'm going to just draw a faint line because I don't need 90. Why well, I actually need this 45. So how would I get my 45? With any reasonable radius also, I'll place it at A2. I'll strike an arc. I'll place it at this point here where A1 and A2 strike the vertical line here. I'll get another arc. So where they meet, I'm going to join those two points together. Hmm? So I'll take in it because that's what I need. So the angle between here and here is my angle what? 45 degree. Similarly, if I want to proceed, I can bisect 45 to get 22 and a half, which is 22.5. Right? So if I just want to get 22 and a half because bisect means dividing into two, I'll just place it here. At this point, I will strike my arc. Just at this point also, I'll strike another arc. So where they meet, that point will be my 22 and a half. So, but if I need this point, this point will be thick. This point will be faint, right? So the angle between here and here is uh, 22 and a half, right? So my next video, we are going to see how we are going to construct angle 52 and a half angle 62 that is angle 52 and a half angle 112 and a half angle 146 quarter right angle 72.25 and so on and so forth so in our next video watch out for our next video thanks for watching 
don't forget to click on the subscribe button